Now I'm gonna see a sweep from, from close guard when I use the 201 to see the sweep, okay? So I'm gonna be the guard, so always I'm gonna set up exactly the same way, blocking the hands, trying to hold the sleeve, bring it to the, my side, and a hip skip to give him the foot to the, putting my foot in the hips, because always I'm gonna be able to be moving side to side. Okay, because I'm working as a scissor sweep, so I'm gonna be, I, I, wanna, I wanna take him down to the side that he doesn't have a balance. So if I try to one side, he has the hands in the ground. He's gonna push that up the hands in the ground, easily he's gonna jump over my leg, he's gonna, he's gonna pass in my guard. So that's not what I want. So I'm gonna block my weak side with my hip. I'm gonna be sliding my shoulder, hip and the shoulder, going to the opposite side. As much as I go, it's more leverage that I have on my leg. And then when I hold here, my foot is going to slide to the knee to open. More than stretching his knee, it's more, it's more than stretching his body. So my hand and my now going to be dragging him and then, and then lifting my leg to break his balance. Then I roll over my head in the ground to go on top. So I'm always in control. Okay? So watching the defense situation. So sleeve control. I find the, I find the grip over here in the shoulder behind the shoulder hold. So I move my hip, I use my knee, foot in the ground, my knee will be framing because sometimes he wants to go on top of my knee. My knee frame, it help me to move my hip and my shoulder. So it's important the mobility that I move a little bit sideways. Like, and that's the thing is like, depending on how, how big is your leg, it's less you can move. Like, but if you have a short legs like me, you have to hip skip a little bit more than usually. But uh, more I move, it's more I have a leverage to break his balance. And I, because I have control the hands, I control the shoulder, he has not, more I open space to this side, more I have a space to take him down. So I use my foot to open his balance, and then he, I start just pull and lifting my leg to sweep him. So there are two options. I can try to go to the mount, with, with, uh, without no use so much, because you're really gonna set up a foot lock or, or, or X guard. So I like to sweep, bring my leg back to go on top. So I like to play safe. Because right now, like a lot of, a lot of those guys, they training, they get so used to counter attack. Everybody getting sweep, but they already set it up and they went to sweep back. So if you don't have a very good control to finish the sweep to the mount, just sweep. Bring your leg back and go to the side control is easily and get a, and keep the control the whole time. Okay, so one more time. So I have hands in my close guard. I'm gonna work in the grips to control the hands. I slide, I have to feel that I feel a control my opponent. Use the foot, my knees, his arm between my legs. Okay, so the fight will be here. They're gonna try to drag his arm or use his body weight. I control my foot and my knees. Okay, so I move my hip first, and then I move my shoulder. I move my hip. More I move myself to the side, it's more left that I have to sweep him. So I don't, I don't try to use, I don't try to knock his knee down. I want to open, I want to stretch his leg. Because more I stretch his leg, now I have leverage to be sliding my body to take him down. So even if I have a short leg, it's easy for me. Instead of exposing my foot to any foot lock or foot attack, so I'm gonna bend my leg to go on top. Okay, this way is a safe way to go on top without exposing me to any attack. So you don't wanna go on top and then you have the, you have the opponent attacking the foot, X guard, and then you switch two points for another two points or two points for the, some submissions at the end. So you wanna make sure that whatever you score, you're gonna be the one under, uh, under control, controlling the opponent without to expose yourself so much.